In this tutorial we are going to learn how to calculate the standard deviation using a Sharp EL531 calculator. And we're going to do it by entering the following five data values into the calculator. Now before we do this, it's really important that you clear your calculator because anything that was previously saved on there might throw off your results. So to do that, we go second function alpha and to reset, we push the number one and then the number zero. Okay, now we want to get into statistics mode. So we click mode and you can see stat number one and we can also see SD, which stands for standard deviation number zero. All right, now we're ready to enter our five data values. So we're going to type first the number 11, and to store this data value, we press M plus. Notice how it comes up with the number one. That number one means that I have stored one data value. Next, I want the 13, M plus. I have now stored two data values. And I'll keep going until I have entered all five data values, 19 last, and you will see that it says five, meaning I've stored five data values into my calculator. Now the good thing is it remembers this, we can clear the calculator, we can turn it off and on again, and it will still remember those five data values. Hence why I told you earlier to clear your calculator at the start. Now, down here, un over the numbers 4, 5, and 6, you will see some important symbols in green. We'll start with the 4, which is actually not the standard deviation. It's got X with a bar above it. Now, I'd, when I click on PowerPoint, the calculator is going to disappear. We can't help that. So we've got X with a bar. Let's bring the calculator up. We've got SX, and then we've got what's called Sigma X. So we have SX and sigma x. They all mean something. x with a bar is the mean or the average. sx is the sample standard deviation. And sigma x is your population standard deviation. All right, so let's bring our calculator up and we'll calculate these three values. So because it's in green, you'll notice alpha's in green, so we're going to just click alpha, then 4, and you'll see x with a bar above it equals, and you get 15. So we'll come here and we'll write x bar equals 15, and then we'll find our sample and population standard deviations. So alpha SX, which gives you your standard deviation, came out as 3.16. We'll just do it to two decimal places. 3.16. And finally, we'll do our population standard deviation, alpha 6. And you see the sigma X symbol equals, and that'll be 